Today, I'm gonna talk about the video I wish I never uploaded. And if you've been a fan for some time, you probably know which video I'm talking about. It's my bioenergetic catharsis video where I'm jumping and humping and vibrating and breathing into my balls, doing a bunch of bioenergetic exercises and essentially demonstrating what a powerful bioenergetic catharsis or release would look like if somebody was following the bioenergetic protocol that I had been learning and so eager to teach my following exactly 12 years ago, back in 2012 when I made that video. And I can't say I didn't know that it was probably gonna come back and bite me, and it did in many different ways because it's very easy to take that video out of context. Meaning, I'm saying certain things about myself and the experiences that I'm having in my imaginary life if I were someone who was severely stressed out, feeling stifled, bottled up, and not fully expressing their 100% authentic, genuine, true charismatic self, that spirit that wants to move through you. And so that video uh, I uploaded with compassion in a way, but also being very rash. I was and still am to this day very impulsive. And sometimes I'll do something and it, my mentality is I'm going to take one for the team. And I'll just do something crazy, spontaneous, uh, on the moment, and then just worry about the repercussions later. And this is one of those, this is this was one of those videos. But uh, 12 years have passed, there's been a tremendous amount of healing, and it is actually a very significant part of who I was and am becoming um, in this life, because bioenergetics is a gift that I truly believe that God has uh, entrusted with me to impart upon the world so that men can be unstifled and remove the physical, mental, holding patterns and blocks that are making men that would otherwise be very powerful and charismatic and influential and attractive shells of their normal selves. And that's what that bioenergetic catharsis video was all about. I could have taken my time and explained what I was doing a little bit better. And over the years, I've done that by creating bioenergetic uh, content. Now, so today, the point of this video is to sort of ex match that video with what I want to teach you about bioenergetics and how it may be something that would help transform you and your life. Now, before I go into that, right, I'm going to do a full analysis, breakdown, I'm going to talk about the problems, the possibilities, the principles, and the plan that you can use in order to allow bioenergetics to help unlock your most authentic, charismatic self. I would like to let you know that my event where I teach bioenergetics and I help support you in bringing that charisma out and breaking the unresourceful neurotic holding patterns is now wide open. It's been four years since I've done a bioenergetics event that I call Grounding Camp and we do bioenergetic grounding there. Um, and I'm, I'm ready to teach some brand new things and give you an opportunity to experience all of the facets of bioenergetics and how it will transform your life. Just want to let you know, you can click that link, you could join us, and I would love to have you. It's going to be the first one in, uh, in four years, and it's going to be the first of many, but don't drag your feet. Now, let's get into some helpful content, shall we? Uh, bioenergetics as a tool, why and where do we begin? So we've got four problems for most men in terms of how we go about uh, or our lack of ability in going about being our most authentic self, our most charismatic self, not being as sheltered and shut down and uh, stifled as we mostly are. And the very first is that we don't know ourselves. You, you, you and I truly don't know ourselves. And when I say that, I'm talking not just on a metaphysical level, not just a spiritual level, not, just, not even an emotional level, but right down to the way you look, your physical body. The form equals function. I've mentioned this before in different videos of this sort, but by knowing your character structure, understanding the way you hold pathological holding patterns, neurotic holding patterns, 
in your body, your muscular system, in its capacity to stifle your breathing, to stifle your self-expression, and uh, the triggers that allow them to come out, you have no fucking clue. You have no idea. Most of us are going about our lives thinking that we're making decisions, but we're on autopilot because our form, our character structure, our holding patterns put us into a particular path. It puts us into a particular drive. The same way that a, a Lamborghini is going to drive very different than a Mack truck, no matter what they wish about themselves or hope about themselves or what the driver wants to have happen, that truck is going to run like a Mack truck and it's going to have Mack truck results in its life and so is the Lamborghini. It's going to be different. Form equals function. So you've got to understand your form. That's the very first problem. You don't know yourself. You don't know your form. Number two, even if you did know your character structure, you did understand the neurotic holding patterns in your body that keep you stuck in your throat, that keep you stifled in your solar plexus, that keep you from accessing your vital capacity, your vitality, your strength down in your balls, your pelvic floor, being able to breathe into and through that. Even if you, even if you knew you don't know the exercises. You don't know how to release those neurotic holding patterns or work with your character structure once you, if you ever do get an opportunity to really pinpoint it. What do you do, right? You may have seen a couple exercise, or a couple videos of mine where I'm <laughs> humping and shouting and beating my chest like you'll notice in my catharsis video. But a lot of times you're just doing stuff because it's not specifically designed for you. You may get somewhere, but it's the same thing like an exercise program in a gym. You could be following a program to the T, but it's not getting you where you want to go. And so that's problem number two. You wouldn't know what to do. Problem number three, even if those neurotic holding patterns were removed, even if you could express yourself as your most authentic self, you wouldn't even know what to do with it because you've been living in a certain pattern for so long that this new access would require some guidance and some time in order to fully integrate. Because if you do not contain and direct that energy in a resourceful way, it can cause problems as well. This is vital energy. This is life force energy. This is archetypical energy. And if it is not respected, it will drive you nuts. And this is why there are traditions that say it may be better not to go this route, do these things. But I don't think God gives us our experiences and our structure and our ability to breathe and move and release and be free from our traumas if he didn't want us to use it, right? You don't need psychedelics. You don't need self-help. You don't need, what you need to do is release your free self and know how to be your free self. That's number three. And then number four, no plan for continuity, what to do, how to move forward in such a way that you're making impact in the entire world, starting with your wife and your children and your mother and your father and your, just those who will benefit from your new light. Having a plan for that. What are you going to do now with your newfound power? So those are four problems. Possibilities now associated with number one. You don't know. Number one, you don't know yourself. Number or that's problem number one, possibility number one, is that you are fully conscious of your neurotic holding patterns. You understand your character structure to a tremendous degree so that you can notice yourself and deal with yourself objectively. Know thyself is the whole of some law. You gotta know yourself. You're gonna know where you are, who you are, and what you're doing in order to get the most out of life. Number two, you understand how to use bioenergetic breathing and movement in order to release stuck holding patterns. You know exactly how to feel into that stuckness and what to do in order to release it. You also know when you're resisting that releasing and you, can, and you have the capacity to push through. There's a lot there to unpack. Number three. You understand what it feels like to be in flow. And you know how to sit in the river of your flow and allow it to take you wherever you're supposed to go. Like you see old Uncle Yo here in front of the camera making videos. If you notice that flow, that roll, those words that rhyme, that's me being in a state of flow. I'm accessing it right now. I do bioenergetics, by the way. I should have mentioned that earlier. We're in minute 10 now. 
I use this to this day. I want to show you how. Number three, so you know how to be in flow, be your most charismatic self, releasing your power through the screen or in real life on sales calls or dealing with your wife, whatever. Number four, roadmap. You have a roadmap for future achievements because once you are your strongest self, once you've released your true charisma, you now have a power to direct the circumstances in your life by the way you speak with people, the way you interact with people, even your, the mindset that's associated with being as charismatic as you're born to be changes everything in your life. I know what it feels like to be on both sides of that wall. I know what it feels like to go back and forth on both sides of that wall. And you want to be in a place where you're fully aware and taking advantage of the newfound power in your life. And creating a roadmap for that success. So what are we gonna be doing at Grounding Camp and why is it important for you to listen to this video, receive this info, and then make a decision to join me or no? We'll see. It's because with each one of those problems and the possibility, we're gonna be attacking a principle at Grounding Camp. Here's a little bit of what we're gonna be working on. Number, number one, having a Character structure and neurotic holding pattern assessment done for you. That's step one, what we're going to do when we get there. We're going to work on understanding you, why you're the way you are making the decisions that you make, and how that's showing up in your physical life. Not just your physical life, but your physical body. Your physical body and your physical life. we got to understand that first, and that's what we're going to do at grounding camp. Number two, we're gonna work on removing those holding patterns through bioenergetic exercise. Yes, you may be doing something that looks a little similar to my crazy ass video that I regret putting up, right? But it's there already, and the cat's out the bag, and so here we are. Um, but you will probably benefit from some moving, some breathing, some toning, shouting, um, Whoa. As I open my throat, right? You might need some throat opening. You know, a lot of people have blocks in the ocular segment, the jaw segment, so on and so on and so forth. You've seen some of my bioenergetic videos. You know what those neurotic holding patterns are. They're, they're, they're bands of tension. We're gonna remove them. Once you understand yourself, you can work to remove those. And once you remove those, step three, principle number three. So principle number one, identify. Principle number two, Remove. Principle number three, release. That means be your best self, be your strongest self, be your most charismatic, confident content creator or leader or entrepreneur or husband or father or badass in your life, whatever you want. Because what you bring to the table changes the table, and that's you. So we want to show you how to be in that flow, bro. That's number three. We're going to work on that. We're going to do things like expressing ourselves to one another and through some technology. It'll be fun. I don't want to, I don't want to give it all away. And then number, number three, uh, I'm sorry, number four, creating a plan for the new future, for the new you. Because your horizons open up when you show up in a totally different way. So that's it. That's what I wanted to share with y'all today. Uh, a big part of this video is getting you to click the link down below, <laughs> just to be frank. You know, you're going to opt in and learn more about Grounding Camp. If it looks like something that is uh, right up your alley, it looks like something that you would benefit from, love to have you. If you're not sure, there's a way to contact us on the page. And uh, you let me know if I could support you in any way, bro, but I'd love to do it mano y mano while we're together at Grounding Camp. So if you stick around, obviously, you know, I think the, the video is probably about seven minutes long. You can watch me cathart literally shit all over the screen. Now understand while you watch this, don't take anything I say in that video literal like it's me because I'm pretending I'm someone who's struggling in life. They're struggling with their wife. They're struggling with their kids. They're struggling with their business. They're struggling with their health. They're struggling with their emotions, they're struggling with their mentality. So when you see Elliot saying and doing all that crazy shit, and again, it's out of empathy. It is me saying, I know what it's like to have a shitty life. I know what it's like to have some tough times. 
And here I am doing something that may be helpful to you. And it's been helpful to millions. I, get the, I still get emails today, 12 years later. Elliot, thank you so much for that video. It gave me the freedom. It gave me the permission to be free. And some, some people have amazing breakthroughs with bioenergetic catharsis. So that's it. Love y'all. Until next time, done. Are you depressed? Do you find that you become depressed sometimes? Do you find that you're depressing your energy? Do you find that everything that you know you are on the inside, sexual and sexy and hungry and happy and angry and sad, all those things don't count, they don't matter. You've gotta put them away so you depress them. I've told you before that you've got to express. That's the only way to break the depression pattern because I get depressed. In fact, I've been depressed for the past several days. I've been teaching workshops. I've been building businesses and watching children and doing all the shit that I have to do and never letting out all the sexual synergy and hunger and anger and frustration and yelling and eating and breathing. Ah! Ah! Attend me. Ah! 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 I don't want to fuck my wife because I'm sucking the sexual energy in. I don't want to train, I don't want to do anything, I don't want to fucking do anything because it's become a neurotic holding pattern. Because depression is a holding pattern. You're holding yourself depressed. I'm holding it in. I'm holding in the energy. You've got to express. I've told you this before, but you've got to express. That's how you get out of depression. It begins with the breath. You gotta breathe. Breathing brings energy into the body, brings vitality, vibration back into a dead fucking body. Because your body's not doing it, because your brain's doing it all, you're all trapped in your goddamn head, and you gotta wake the body back up. Wake the body back up. And you do it by expanding the chest open. <sighs> radically open the chest. This is where your heart is. This is where you love. Animals close their hearts, they hold down. Animals as human beings, we open up, we open up the heart. We open it up and we stand up and you can see it, it's soft. It's supposed to be soft, but we make it hard. We make the belly hard. Uh, but you've got to soften it so that your heart can open up, so that your sex can open up, so that your expression ah, can open up. So you've got to breathe. Big breathing, big body breathing into your balls. Shake your balls. To get the breath down lower, shake your balls. Feel your balls shaking. Feel your balls shaking. Feel your legs shaking. Feel your belly shaking. Breathe and shake. Breathe and vibrate. Breathe and vibrate. Breathe and vibrate. That word vibrate. That vibrate. Vibrant! They like to say fucking vibrant. They like to say vibrant on TV. They like to say vibrant in commercials where they sell you pills. But the people in the commercials don't vibrate. They're stiff. They're stuck. They're neurotic. Kick, 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 kick. Kick, kick. Neurotic holding patterns. But you're gonna let go because they're gonna sh shake all the shit out. Just sh Shake the motherfucker out. Shake it out. Shake it out. Stop being so damn respectable. 
Stop being so good. Stop being so right. You can do whatever the fuck you wanna do. Go in your room like me. Go where there's no one else and shake your shit. Shake your shit, shake your balls, breathe. And then ground. Deeper sounds go deeper into your body. The deeper the sound, the closer to your balls it is. The higher your sound, the higher it is in your throat, the more of a whiny son of a bitch you are. Bring the shit low. You know you're castrated when your voice is too high. Practice deep sounds. <sighs> Breathe, vibrate. <sighs> and practice deep sounds. You don't have to choose to hold the depression. Let go of it and express. It's all good. You're allowed to do it. You don't have to be a good boy all the time. There are tears inside. There's laughter inside. It's all inside. It's all in your belly. Stop holding it tight. Let it go. You're allowed to let go. Be free. Elliot said, Elliot. What?